Sports teachers packing in the classroom could soon be a reality in Tennessee. State senators passing a proposal that heads to the state house. The bill requires teachers to meet certain training standards, but ultimately allows schools and law enforcement to decide whether they will allow guns in the classroom. Kelsey's been digging into this bill. Kelsey, this comes on the wake of the Covenant School shooting in Nashville last year. Yeah, hey there, Nick. This has sparked massive outrage. So protesters were chanting, vote them out, kill the bill, not the kids. But ultimately, this bill, it passed through the Senate 26 to 5. It will now head to the House where, where it will likely pass. And if it is signed by the governor, it will go into effect immediately. This bill was introduced shortly after the National School shooting at the Covenant School in 2023, where six people, including three children, were killed. But out of respect for the victims, lawmakers in 2023, they decided to ultimately delay debating it. Despite, though, some Tennessee private schools already allowing teachers to carry guns. Now, this bill would require teachers who carry to have a handgun carry permit, written authorization from local law enforcement, and complete 40 hours of basic training and school policing. It does not require teachers to be armed or use their weapons during an active shooter situation, and it maintains that educators who carry will be kept confidential. We did speak to a national mom who's a conservative Republican gun owner who supports gun rights, but her 10-year-old was a survivor at the Covenant School shooting. She's vehemently against this bill, noting that her child's teacher kept the class silent and out of the shooter's attention. If a teacher were to be armed and they left the classroom and they were, say they got the children settled, they go out of the classroom to try and go against this active shooter situation with a small handgun against a long gun, um, it's most likely that that teacher will die. But supporters of the effort, like State Senator Paul Bailey, there on your screen, who sponsored the bill, argues it's vital to rural areas in Tennessee where there's limited law enforcement and longer response times. Take a listen. Not all schools and school systems could afford, uh, could afford a um, school resource officer. And this was just another line of defense that um, he and the Sheriff's Association thought would be uh, possible for schools to use, um, especially in the rural areas. As of 2023, and this may shock you, 34 states already allowed teachers to carry firearms in the classroom. Thanks for watching, everybody.